Hello everyone, this is Amanda Ray coming to you with a quick video and today what I want to go over is some really great training for how to connect your website to your domain. So if you purchase the website, whether it was from me or from someone else, um, for any opportunity and you want to connect it to your domain name, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And um, your domain name is basically whatever you name you come up with. Um, mine is successwithamandaray.com. Um, this lady, young lady here, hers is postcardprofitsfromhome.online. Um, you, you know, you, you can create any domain that you want, but a domain is useless if it's not connected to a website. So the website basically looks something like this. Let me just bring it up so you can see it. Um, and this is what a website looks like. It basically is your sales page or it could be your capture page, the, the page that does all of the selling and telling for you. Um, it's, the per it's the information that you give to a person that's interested in your opportunity. So what you want to do is instead of giving somebody an ugly link that looks like this with all of these different words in it and these question marks and these names, you don't want them to see that. You want them to see your domain name. That's nice and clean, slick, something that they can remember. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this website link and we're going to connect it to a domain name. So when you are in your GoDaddy account, what you want to do is you want to go to the domain name that you want to attach it to and you want to click on um, DNS. Okay, so we're going to do postcardprofitsfromhome.biz. We're going to go to the DNS. And basically, when we get to the DNS management, okay, that's where you want to be. You want to go to the DNS management for that domain name. You're going to scroll down. And then what you want to do is you want to go to forwarding, okay? Because so what we're going to do is we're going to forward this domain name to the website that we want to attach it to. So we're going to just hit add. And then we're going to copy and we're going to paste in that ugly website link that we have okay and then what we want to do is we want to change this to https okay and then we want to remove this from the website link so the webs inside of this box should not have a space in the front and it should not have the https it should just have the the name of um the website Okay, and then if you scroll down, you know, you see it has .com slash access. This is the ugly link, okay? So the HTTPS we have over here, we have the website link here. We can hit preview to see what it's going to look like first, okay? So we're going to hit preview, and here is your website. So if this pops up, whatever your website is, as long as it pops up, you know that that's, that is correct. So now what we want to do, we want to set it to permanent. We want it to be forward only. We do not want to mask it and then we wanna hit save. Now, it's going to take 12 to 24 hours in order for this to populate. So if you check your domain name right away, it may not show up because it normally takes 12 to 24 hours in order for it to populate. And as you can see, this site cannot be reached because it's still being worked on. But within 12 to 24 hours, you will be able to see the website link, uh, the website information here at this domain. So that's basically all you have to do to connect your website and your domain name. I hope that this training has helped someone. And um, thanks so much. I'll see you again in another video. Bye-bye.